Well, praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, that was excellent. Amen. Our God is well pleased today yes, yes, with the worship, the true worship. Yes. You can go here to Gaithers and Jason Crab and pay a lot of money. Some people put on shows to make the money. But you can tell when you have a true anointing and when you're doing it for the right reasons. When everybody else said no, his direction said, I'm going to help you. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate the encouragement also and the confirmation from the bottom of my heart. Amen. 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 Praise God. Would you bow your heads, please? One more time. Father God, I am thankful for what you have done here to spark a ministry to further multiple ministries. Little is much when God is in it. Yeah. We don't labor for wealth or fame. We labor for souls. Yes. And those who win souls are wise. I want to be wise in the sight of Jesus. Yes. I want to be strong in the might of the Lord. Yes. His will be done. Because someday we're going to reach heaven's shore. Yes. And I want to take some people with me. Yes. That's the mission for ministry. Yes, Not how many CDs we sell. <clears throat> Not how much offerings we can take up. Not how many awards that we can win if we win awards in gospel music. But only the blood of Jesus that washes a sinner's sin right as snow. Take them to heaven to be with you, Lord. That's why we do what we do. I dedicate myself to you, Lord, right now. And if there's one that doesn't know Jesus, I pray a blessing. You come right down and meet them where they are, on the streets, in a living room, in a car, in a motel room right now. In Jesus' name, come down and minister to them. And continue to help us and provide for us as we hold on to your promise and move forward for kingdom building work. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. Would you please stand for the reading of the word? Today, as I struggled to find what God would have me to say, I woke up in the middle of the night about a week ago and I opened up the book and I came to exactly where God wanted me to come. His words that are written in pure blood red that He shed for us on Calvary. So if you would turn to the book of Matthew, I will begin in 14... And end in 21. It's kind of long, but the message is simple. Listen. For the kingdom of God is as a man traveling into a far country. Who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. 15. And unto one he gave five talents. Amen. Amen. And to another he gave two, and to another one, and to every man according to several ability, and straightway took his journey. How many people know that this life is just a journey? Amen. How many people realize that God will help us and give us what we need for this journey? He gives everybody talents. Some are to sing, some are to preach. Others are just simply to help out with technology sometimes, like my wife does. Build websites. Something that would just make me pull my hair out. She can go on that thing and create and make what we need when we need it. Flyers. And to God be the glory for that. The parable of the talents is found in St. Matthew 25 and 11. Be chapter 25 in the book of Matthew. If you, have, if you find it, it starts in chapter 25 of the book of St. Matthew and we're in the, um, we're starting, like I say, at verse 14. 
it, okay, you got it? Amen. Praise God. So anyway, we're going back and we're saying that you're going to have what you need for your journey. You may go on a journey and think that you might not have everything. I like to tell my wife, Honey, you pack too much sometimes for a couple of days vacation. You act like we're moving. <laughs> and sometimes you get down the road, and if you're a man, you're like, oh, my God, honey, I did not bring my toothbrush. Then you stop here and get me some underwear. I didn't bring enough. But leave it to our good women to have everything. No, I got your toothbrush. I got an extra one. Praise God. Can everybody say, God will give us the tools we need for our journeys. Amen. Yes, he will. The disciples did not worry about what they were going to eat or going to drink. Me and my wife, after we lost our home in Hurricane Matthew, praise God. You know, we just went out there and, and, and took CDs and went everywhere praying, singing. We got the laws looking at us funny in different situations. I mean, we stopped to rest at a park. Law coming there. Hey, ain't you a minister? Ran us for warrants. Yeah, just that's how the word is going to start treating us Amen. in these last days. Praise God. Right. I'm going to go on down and I'm going to go to verse 18. I'm going to read to 21 and then y'all can be see. Listen, 18. But he had received one and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. I got a question for you. We need to be good stewards of God's money. Me and this gentleman were talking about how you try to save money when you do a ministry. God will provide, but God don't say be ignorant with the money and, That's and right. wasteful. That's right. That's and some people just flat out greedy. Won't help you unless you got $500 guaranteed when you get here to sing. Right. What are we doing it for? For the love of money or for God? That's what God told me when I read that verse. We better be doing it for the love of the Lord and the love Amen. of leading people to the Lord, praise God. Yes. That's why I feel like that man dug in the earth to hid the Lord's money. He ought to knew better being a robber of God's money, tithes and offerings. What has a man gained to profit the whole world for sake his soul? All these expensive houses, all these big cars, not paying anything to the church. God's going to get his money one way or another. I mean, that ain't quite what I'm going at, but, you know, here get his money. It belongs to God. Verse 20. And so he that had received five talents came and brought the other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five more talents. Say, God will multiply. God will multiply. Say, God will multiply. Not just when he's out there trying to feed the multitude like he did with the two loaves and uh, five fish and two loaves. He multiply everything else too. Your ministry, I'm, I'm talking to some people right now. He will multiply our ministries. It would just stay faithful. May not come right then, but sometimes he wants to see you sweat a little bit. He wants to see if you're going to fold under pressure a little bit. Amen. Am I talking to somebody this morning? He's going to see, are you sold out to him completely? Are you really carrying the cross? Are you really doing it for the right reasons? Here test you. Then in 21 it says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. He said, Well done to you, thy good servant and faithful servant. Amen? He said, Thou hast been faithful over a few things. He says, I want to make you ruler over many. And lastly but not least, he says, Enter into the joy of the Lord. What I want to speak on for just a few minutes, you may be seated, is how we need to be faithful over a few things so that he'll make us ruler over many. Yes, amen. That's right. And so we can enter, praise God, into the full joy of the Lord, praise God. Thought came to me about how I used to be, brother, that when I was living in sin, I might not have been smoking, drinking, or running the road, selling drugs, pregnant, but I was 
Just as much as sin as those sinners, praise God. God spoke to me. He said, that's why, Carlton, your talents were not multiplying. He says, you were not doing what you were supposed to do with what I blessed you with, praise God. He said, but if you just come back to me, son, like the prodigal son that left, and you honor me with everything that you do, I will multiply them. And when my uh, cousin or nephew, wanted to, I get that mixed up, before, when he killed himself, I was in my trailer house as a single man before I got married. I was on the radio doing a secular broadcast. Got an instant message that my cousin nephew had committed suicide at the tender age of 21 years old over a woman. Mercy. And that's why we sing a song about suicide prevention. And we've been singing that as we go out on the highways and byways. But you know, as I begin to let God speak to me, God said, if you'll just surrender to me, you won't have to struggle like you used to struggle. I'll be there with you to comfort you, praise God, when you're going through the storms and the valleys, when you get depressed. That's what God said. He said, Carlton, I want you to be multiplied with your talents. But you can't use them for a bunch of mess and for the world. You can't use them to gain the whole world and lose your soul. And I would die and end up in hell. That's not what God wants for his children. He loves us that he died on Calvary and gave his only son for us so we could have everlasting life. I want you to understand that God spoke to me clear as day. He said that we're not dedicating a building we're dedicating so we can dig and get deeper into our ministries. Because God wants us to go over, over. Yes. He wants to bless you. He wants to make it easy for you. He wants to make it straight way to, so that if you're really doing what you got to do, praise God. If you're really doing it by the Spirit and not through the flesh, you'll walk into a blessing yes. after a blessing after a blessing. And you won't have to push so hard like I did when I was singing secular music. I was a Native American white boy in a predominantly red African American industry back then. You know what I'm talking about. There ain't never been no rappers that were Native American hardly. There ain't never been nobody make it. That wasn't my destiny. That wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. And the minute that I woke up and I realized that, God started multiplying. I'm going to share a few illustrations, praise God, with you. We started out, I gave my life back to Jesus a year ago, praise God. God be the glory for all he's done. Amen. And I was, um, that time I didn't have no equipment to sing out of. Well, I had about $50 in my pocket that day after I got my disability check that month. And my wife looked at me like I was crazy. Some of y'all may think I would have been crazy too because I was about to go in the arena center, stop the car right there, prophet. Right there I told her to stop that car. We went into arena center and I came out with equipment in Jesus' name to start with. It was just a, a system that, that um, put in CDs in it and sung. But I was thankful. Amen. We need to get back to being thankful. Yes. Then later on, God elevated us, and we got this system from Guitar Center. God will provide and multiply. He will make a way for you to use your talents, but we have to use them for the glory of God, praise right. God. Yes. Can't use them for what we want, for ourselves. Be selfish. I'll tell you another incident that happened. We were out there ministering, and we didn't have nothing. But about 30 CDs of my old CD. When I was 18 years old, a good friend of mine that went on to be with the Lord, Dennis Hall, had a little recording studio in Parkton. And I was staying in the family care home then in Pembroke. He came by and got me and said, I want to bless you. He done my first CD. That was an old CD. That's about 19, 20 years old. And um, so what happened was we had those CDs that I had um, made copies of anyway. My wife, we prayed. And she went out there and she went wrong, and we had zero dollars, nothing, right? No money. And in 45 minutes, she sold almost a hundred something dollars. Praise God. Amen. 
worth of CDs. We were able to make provision for a couple of days. God is still able to provide. He is still able to help you. He wants to help you, sinner friend. He cares about you. You might not care about yourself right now. Because you might be depressed. Because you got nowhere to go. And you might be on drugs, but God wants to deliver you from it. He wants to bring you into His family. He wants to multiply and bless you. God's not a respecter of persons. I want to point that out. What He done for me and my wife, He'll do for anybody that wants to come to know Him and make Him the Lord of their lives. He loves you. He loves me. He, red, yellow, black, and white, they're all precious in the sight of our Father. Right, and He loves you. And I'll just stand before you to proclaim that God's been good to me. He, he's been so good to me and my wife. And I want to thank Him for everything that He's Amen. done. Amen. And where I leave from here, it will be His direction. Yes. And His the sermon. And He will speak to me. All I got to do is listen. And open up my ears. And I leave this with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and personal Savior. I didn't want to be long-winded. But I just want to tell you that God can multiply for you. Yes. He can give you provision. Yes, he can. And He will provide. Yes, he will. And you need to take your talents, whatever they are, and use them for good. Because yes. a lot of people are using their talents for the wrong reasons. Amen. And I leave this with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, if you don't mind, um, I know there's not many of them. Um, I'm going to put some offering in here and stuff. We took ours out the other day. I'm going to pass this around right fast. And this right here is going to His direction. For them coming a long ways. I know we don't have many people today, but every little bit helps. They came a long